is they've all got their winter coats on because it's very cold, isn't it? And I'm rugged up too. So uh, let's go and get some wood, guys. Come on then. Are you coming or not? No. Yes, yeah, so um, there's the tree over there that uh, we cut down yesterday. And um, let's go see if we can pick out a, a nice bit of wood to put on the lathe. Or maybe the CNC machine. Yeah, so um, this is uh, some of the, the dead uh, branches off this tree. Um, the whole tree was sort of uh, dying. So, um, but anyway, gives me a good source of wood for the, um, well, for either the CNC machine or the, the lathe. But uh, you can see that you know, this tree was living yesterday and you can see that borers have already gone in and attacked uh, you know, over the last few years this tree and the middle is actually dead of the tree and actually this one I think uh, is going to uh, produce quite uh, some nice things on the lathe and, and the CNC machine so I've already split a couple, um, so we'll see what we can find. Oh, look at that one! Yes, yeah, some lovely spalted wood in that. So, um, not all of this tree tree is going to be burnt uh, on the fire. Obviously, it's going to be for next year, but uh, let's see what what we can find for now. Okay. Oh. oh, that looks okay. You can see where the borers have come in here and uh, eaten their way into the wood and left behind the well, spoils, I suppose, which ultimately killed this tree. I think I'm going to have enough uh, interesting material to, uh, that, that's going to make a nice, a nice vase of some sort. So you can, you can see that um, sources of timber, um, they're all around you. Uh, you're going to go drive out of the city and go to the forestry, uh, and I'm sure wherever you are in the world, you can actually uh, pick up fallen wood. Um, I don't think you're allowed to take a chainsaw with either, but uh, you know, wood you can easily come by. You don't have to go and buy it from the uh, hardware store. So let's see what we can make of it. I just thought I'd uh, show you this interesting fact. Um, if you're wondering where the semi precious uh, stone amber comes from, well, this is how it starts off, from a tree. <clears throat> if I can get that off. Amber originally starts off as sap. And what happens with it, it uh, over millions of years, it uh, fossilizes or turns to the amber stone that we know of. But that's the raw material for amber. And it grows on trees all the way to the top. Okay, um, having got a raw, should we call it, billet of wood um, up from down the paddock, um, you'll notice that um, although it's a fair sized lump, it's only taken up probably about 25% of the area that I can actually cut. Um, in one go. Um, anywhere on this black area here, um, I can actually machine. So, although it's quite a small machine, it can do a big job. And providing I can get this piece of wood underneath the base of this, it will also machine it. So, um, 
there you go there's some idea of the um, size of material that you can actually get on this and of course now all you really got to do is stabilize it uh, because the wood is uh, an odd shape you just pack it underneath in various places like this and um, then all it really needs is a sturdy but pretty rough bracket um, screwed onto it so you can clamp it down. Jam it down really tight, just firm. Right now, I've got um, I've got our piece of uh, material now clamped firmly down onto the bed. Uh, it's nice and stable. It's not going to move anywhere. So now I've got to uh, machine this down now to get a nice flat plane. So I'm going to machine it down to probably. I'm probably going to take an inch and a half off that nice flat plane and then we'll have a, a three-dimensional um, carve in right into that wood okay so I've uh, manually uh, machined uh, some of the rough bits down uh, now I'm going to uh, run the program to uh, machine this now down the rest of the way. So here we go. A mess doesn't she look at that look at the colors of that wood so that's what uh, one of these uh, CNC rotors can do get a slab of wood stick it on doesn't matter what shape it is so long as it'll fit underneath that gantry you can machine it you can do whatever you want and uh, the next operation is the rough roughing operation for the 3d design that I'm putting in here which actually is probably rather fitting because it's a, a, a beaver uh, in a forest with a, with a stream um, chewing on wood. So um, we got that coming up next. Okay, the first operation we're going to do now is we're going to use the 25mm uh, cutter to um, rough out some of this material and uh, get rid of most of the, uh, the waste material anyway. So here we go. turned it into Christmas here because um, she's made a bit of a mess so we'll just clean her up and uh, change the tool and put the um, six millimeter ball nose in and uh, see what sort of mess that can make
Okay, I've just uh, changed the tool now and put the um, three mil uh, ball mill in. And you could just about make out that it is a beaver here with his tail that way, and his feet here. And there's a stick up through here that he's gnawing on. Can't make out any features yet. Other than there's a couple of trees at the back here. And, uh, well, let's see how it goes. work of art. There's probably some of you out there that uh, probably may not agree that uh, it's a work of art, but what you've got to think of is what is behind making this and the know-how. Um, as in with ArtCam, how to work the, the actual program, Mark III, how to manage it, how to manage that program, how to set this machine up and as you can see through um, some of my videos um, it can be quite uh, complex to actually turn a piece of work out like this so it's not all easy and it's not just uh, standing by sitting down having a cup of coffee or something while the machine does its thing because it's not quite like that so um, I Maybe you can uh, appreciate now what a, a small industrial machine can
can do. Don't forget, industrial machine. Uh, it is not like these um, 6040s and 3030s and 3040s. They are not industrial machines. I regard those as toys. If you want to cut a little bit of plastic for your own um, amusement or a little bit, bit of MDF, they're fine. If you want to use them for an industrial purpose, they are not. So, I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's production from me. And um, if you have, please subscribe to my channel. Alternatively, please press like. Um, the red box down in the bottom corner. Uh, that will take you to my YouTube channel where this is now number 108 so um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing what I do with the CNC machine of course uh, I also do uh, wood turning and uh, shop projects and uh, well have a look on my YouTube site and uh, there's probably something there to to amuse you so bye for now Thank you.